Hello everyone, welcome to today's video and today we will be understanding one of the important tool that is being released by Google Scholar and as we all know what is Google Scholar, I made one video on Google Scholar. If you haven't seen that then please check out the channel, watch the video on Google Scholar and today there is, uh, there is one update that I want to share with you which is uh, Google Scholar PDF Reader. As a, as a researcher, you might be complaining about the, the PDF readers. There are several things that you want your PDF reader to do, but there are significant limitations with all the PDF readers that are available. Based on that, Google Scholar came up with specific uh, PDF reader that will be really beneficial for you as a researcher to read PDFs, go to specific sections, see what kind of references are there and how you can uh, copy the references directly without going to the reference section, right? So these are some of the advantages uh, provided by the Google Scholar PDF Reader. Uh, I'll show you after, uh, you know, I'll, I'll show one of the one of the article that I published and I'll open up in that uh, Google Scholar PDF Reader and as well as I'll show you the traditional PDF Reader and we'll compare that, right? So, all right, without any delay, let's uh, move on to the tutorial part. And uh, once you go to the Google Scholar and you can, you can see over here, I'm in the Google Scholar uh, web page where there is this, this uh, line that is saying, supercharge your PDF reading, follow references, skim outlines, outline, jump to figures. So these are the things that you can do with Google Scholar PDF Reader, which is, I think, uh, is, was really important and it will benefit researchers, uh, especially uh, which are uh, PhD scholars reading a lot of papers, uh, academic uh, professors who are reading a lot of writing, a lot of papers, they want to cite references, all those things can be done quite easily now. So what we can do, we, we first let's go to this, this blog article and see what we have in there. In, in, in this blog, you can, you can see a lot of details are there, but I'll just quickly explain you what the reader will do. As you can see over here on the left side, you can see the outline of uh, the paper. So you can open the PDF, it will immediately provide you all the headings that are there in your paper, also subheadings. And if you want to go to a specific subheading, you can directly go from here. And next is what you can what you can do. You can also look at the references. So, for example, right over here, I'm on the reference number three. And if I if I click on reference number three, immediately I'll open up the reference. And at the same time, I'll have other things also. I can save it to my library. I can also cite it. So, save it to the Google Scholar library. I can also cite it and also. Uh, I can I can see how many citations citations are there that will give me the impact of that paper. So these are these are really really beneficial when it comes to the productivity of uh, of a researcher, right? So moving further in this, you can see you can also scroll down and see what is the the figure that is being referred in the manuscript. So if you click on the figure which is being uh, attached to the specific figure. So, you, for example, you have figure 30. Uh, it's not 30. Yeah, it's a 35 or 3 S. I don't know. Yeah, 35. And if you click on this one, it, it will immediately move you to the figure and you can explore that figure and come back to that one. Uh, so these are some of the important uh, features that you can get. Now, let's explore how we can we can use uh, use this PDF reader. Uh, the details are there if you haven't used the PDF reader, uh, Google Scholar PDF reader, what you can do is install the extension, pretty easy. I've already installed it. I'm not going to make tutorial on that one. I'll just quickly go to my uh, profile. So in my profile, what I what I see is all the articles that are published by me. And as you can as you can see, these are the articles and, uh, you know, they are they are arranged year wise. If I click on this one, uh, they will be arranged. Uh, from the latest year and they will go back like this, right? Uh, cited by means if you want to arrange them according to the citation. So I'll, I'll go and open up one of the latest uh, research article that we published in ACS uh, Omega Journal. There are a lot of other articles also, but uh, why I'm picking this one? Because I can, I can open this one in one of the PDF reader that is provided by the 
uh, general, right? So here you can see this is the article which is advances in nanotechnology for biofilm inhibition. Uh, it's uh, it was published in 2023. Uh, my research area is uh, around the antimicrobial resistance, antimicrobial agents, bi bacterial biofilms, quorum sensing. So uh, if you want to read. You can you can uh, you know read one of uh, many of our papers that we publish in this area, okay? And I'm also open to collaboration. If you have uh, uh, anything that we can work together on, uh, please feel free to contact me, and we can work together on on these particular uh, topics, right? Bacteriophage uh, bacteriophages is one of the other area that I'm exploring, and you can see latest uh, paper. I'll, I'll just quickly go back to the latest paper that we have published in 2024. So you can see bacteriophages in nature. That is a review article that is being published, and it it summarizes most of the research tools that you need in the area of bacteriophages. Okay, so if you want to see what are the applications and also the advances in bacteriophage research research then you basically can read this article it's uh, it's it's written it's a lengthy one but it will summarize most of the important ones all right so let's go back to that one and again go back to the website journal website so this is acs omega paper and you can see uh, article views significant um, citations are not there but hopefully you know if you're working in this area please do cite the paper if it is relevant now if you click on pdf uh, reader that is the PDF reader by ECS publication so in this one and then I'll compare that with the Google Scholar PDF reader you can see over here I don't have anything that will outline uh, this article what I do have is abstract on that uh, on that side I can also have graphical abstract so these are some of the additional advantages I can also cite it so that is that is one of the important feature that ECS Omega PDF reader is providing me I can also download from here and then this is my article right now what i'm going to do i'm going to download this one and since i've added the extension i can directly open it on just by clicking here it will be open in the uh, google scholar pdf reader and i i think uh, since this is this is an important update uh, hopefully google scholar will will add some of the uh, advantages uh, additional features in that one and it will be advantageous to all the researchers so you can see over here you know outline is there i can go to directly go to introduction or some of the other sections of my of my review article fantastic right so that is one uh, feature of uh, the google scholar pdf reader second one is i can i can go to a specific uh, reference that is what we have discussed right for example right over here and i click on this one immediately google scholar since it is linked with google scholar it will immediately uh, take out the specific reference i don't have to go to the reference section and i can see the abstract few lines of the abstracts uh, maybe four or five lines and then i can see the title i can i can also save this if i click on this one it will be saved to my library that is fantastic i can go back to google scholar library and i can check that uh, review article out now next is uh, cited by three that is what we have already discussed related articles i can also see related articles i think that was not there in the google scholar blog Anyways, two new, uh, two uh, alternate versions I can also see of that particular article. And, and I can also, if you, want, if you want to cite it, you can basically export the citation either in BibTeX or EndNote or Reference Manager or uh, Reference Works. So all these features are available and they are really convenient, if, especially you're writing a review paper or a research paper. Okay. What next? Another feature was that uh, if we want to go to a specific uh, figure, right? So if I if I go to a specific figure, for example, figure one, I just encountered this one. It is linked, so I'll click on this one, and immediately this reader will will take me to the figure one. I can explore the figure one. I cannot go back to the original position directly i have to scroll up and and then i have to go back but it is very very easy because you're already there i can click on uh, the figure and and immediately go back to all the figures that i want to explore for example for example this one figure three i can immediately explore these things and then if i want to go to the reference section i can directly do that right so 
similar features were there in this case you can you can see acs omega uh, pdf reader where you can you can you can click on the reference but it will directly take you to the reference section and it is very very difficult because you have to go up and down up and down and it it breaks the flow and it is uh, as 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 you are as you are into the uh, paper you are reading a particular section of the manuscript you don't want to go to uh, the reference section immediately and then come back to the 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 main main section it will break the flow it will not be pleasant um, to read the particular section of the manuscript so i think this is uh, one of the advantage that google google scholar pdf reader provides you which is more convenient than the other pdf readers and here you can you can see like google scholar tab is also there you can you can see some of the, the main features that were highlighted uh, as a reference if i if i click on the reference i can see all those things uh, here i can see all those things for that particular uh, for our review paper so you can see this article has been cited by 12 uh, research publications and then related articles i can also explore five versions so related articles right so that will be very very nice to uh, look at what are the papers that are getting published in the same area so you can see over here uh, the nanotechnology in combating biofilm so very similar to this one i have uh, plenty of papers that i can explore which are uh, in in this in the same area that i'm publishing okay so i think then then you can download it from here you can print it out you can also increase and decrease the zoom you can uh, you can also go back directly to pages i don't know let's see 16 if i click on okay if i enter a specific page number for example if i click on uh, say 5 i can directly go to the page number 5 so i think that is that is uh, you can also do and you can also rotate it because many 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 times you'll find papers that will have table in the uh, landscape format so you have to uh, rotate the document so in this case it's it's also available okay so you can also change the fit to fit to width view uh, and then as per your convenience you can basically explore uh, all these features you can also turn that outline section uh, to this mode and it it is it provides you a lot of space to read the article very convenient so i think i'm using this and hopefully after watching this video you will also use uh, the google scholar pdf reader and if you have any any anything else uh, that you want to ask me if you have any doubts you uh, you have any issue while while uh, reading any kind of paper especially my paper you can you can always contact me please feel free to email me or message me or put it put that particular question in the comment section i'll try my best to answer those okay so that is all for today and we'll meet in another video where we'll uh, explore similar topics and we'll try to understand basic science in more detail thank you everyone